Good morning. This is Siam Waterside, the third of the Siam courses. I've been here once before. It's a great course. Clubhouses, exceptionally modern. We've got this central well between the locker rooms and what have you. Practice facilities here are excellent as the screen goes dark. What I can tell you is this golf course will not roll over and give you a score. You've got to earn it. So as you can see on the board, we're starting from number 10. That bunker down the right is most definitely in play, so the bunker down the left seems a good target for my fade. This fairway is quite wide, but there's no need to gamble here. Hybrid is going to put me in a really good position for my third. It is a par 5 after all. You know, it's courses like this that we work our Saturdays and Sundays and bank holiday Mondays and save up for and give up a few beers every weekend. This is such a pretty course. That one flew. We had 78 with a little following wind. And I just must have caught it really well because we've gone a bit long. Yeah, starting from the 10th. So we're on this par five, so a gentle start compared to going off the first. The most important person for my score today is stood there on the left, my caddy. A short par three. No, I haven't been here for five years and I do not remember this. My target is the tree in the middle of the fairway with the three wood. Simon. There's nothing worse for a fader than the ball going left. Just trying to get to the front of the green here, not be too greedy. Got a fluffy light, so no chip and run, I can throw this all the way back there. Oh, Simon, shoved it. Yeah, I shoved it. The par threes on the good courses are all lasered, and they put out the board every day for when they move the tee box. These bunkers aren't really in play for an eight iron. They are, will be in play if you're playing the blacks. Very nice. Ah. Oh! Wow! I got that completely wrong. Bunkers down the right are most definitely in play for me. The one down the left, I can get over. Oh, left again. Simon. I just wish I'd stop pulling it. Got a wedge. Just going to get it. Going to say over the trees, but through the trees. I'll keep this. About a 40 yard long chip and run. I thought I was closer than this. 
I would have taken the 9-iron instead of the wedge if I'd known I was this far back. And it just sits down a bit. Bunkers down the left are definitely reachable. Going with three wood again, and I'm aiming at the right hand bunker. It was good to have a visual to actually aim at that you can't actually reach. And I wanted to get right because the last time I finished right behind this tree, I remember taking driver. And an absolutely awful knife. We finished in a decent position. All I've got to do is open the face of the sand wedge, pop it over. Right, we should be able to get a par from here. Oh wow! Why do I keep messing up the okay. short par fours? Time for a drink. They got great drink stops here and everything is planted so nice. This is what you get at the good courses is such delightful planting. Another short par four. A caddy wanted me to hit driver but I thought nope what we're gonna do is just hook the hybrid. That's not a hook. Oh dear. No matter what happens, the hole isn't over until it's over. This is incredibly fast down here. That fast. I've just breathed on that ball. What a great caddy. Par three. The flag's all the way over to the left and for whatever reason, I decided to push the envelope and be a bit aggressive. Dodgy. It almost paid off. It didn't quite stop on the green even though it landed, but it's just a simple... Well, it should have been a simple chip. Come We're pegged back on the blue tees. This is going to be a very long hole. Yes! Good job. That's Simon. Not a difficult shot despite it looking difficult. All you need is clean contact. The green's quite large. There's plenty of room. Now a lot of these courses they like to tie orchids to trees and then once they've put their roots into the bark they take away the string and then it will continue growing there on the humidity and the rain and the sunshine. Oh, it's I quite delightful. It. How do you fancy this tea shop? Great shot. Go, 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 go. Swing it easy, Simon. Fat! Hit it, Simon. Hit it properly. On. Just
Go, 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 go! Yes! Well played. It's brilliant. We got one in the end. Now round to the first after another drink stop. Look at this, water all the way down the right. Sun left. This is a tough opening hole of the day when you start from the first. There isn't a lot of room for error. Now we are downwind and I wish I remembered this because two holes coming back into the wind later in the round I make a bit of a mess of. So my wedge from 120 which shouldn't have got there got there. But I had a downhill down grain putt. They're a bit tricky at the yeah. best of times. You can only wave the putter at them gently and hope for the best. Part three, sand, water, right, sand, left. Oh, left. Get down, get down. The best way of aiming is to pick a target as far away as possible and then hit it over a spot in front of your ball. And that's what I do, I ignore the bunker on the left, I'm looking at the bunkers way in the distance. A little bit thin again. Good bad one. This is where the caddy earns her money. This is into the grain, it's dead slow, it's also very heavily right to left. So you've got to collect as much information as you can from her and understand why she's telling you what she's telling you. You certainly can't put out here on your own this round I had 28 putts. My playing partner who was ignoring his caddy and doing it all himself again had about 40 and I'm not kidding there. Short par 4 again going at the bunkers in the distance with the 3 wood. Wedge. Well, I thought I'd have wedge in here, just that big bunker on the right to avoid. No, good. No, 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 no. And uh, the water left. Oh, too much. Nice well, I can reach the sand down the right, but I can get over the sand down the left. Looks like a perfect target for me and my little fade. Go right. Okay. Nice shot. Ta. Flag on the front and with that bunker dominating. Going a few feet right, this flag seems very sensible to me. You might think, well, you should hit a gap wedge much closer than this, but don't ever forget, par is a very a good bit. score, especially out here in Thailand. Dead straight par five, water all the way down the left, bunkers right, three wood. Bat, Look it again, Simon. I've come up short and I'm on the downslope. I need some loft and this ball's going to squirt right, which is perfect because it keeps me away from all the trouble on the left. 
If it goes too far right, the rough will stop it going in the water on the right. Four iron was an easy choice. Just a wedge in. Flags way at the back. This is an awkward green. You need to be in exactly the right place. The only other time I played here I made a birdie on this hole. The flag was way up the back on the back step. I got onto the front and I canned an absolute monster. Can I make it two for two? Oh, fuck. Well after that, not a chance. Tight lie, sand wedge, uphill. This hasn't exactly been my cup of tea on this trip. This is the signature hole. It is exceptionally narrow. Bunkers right, sorry, bunkers left. Water all the way down the right. Now bunkers for your second shot. If I had a better lie, I'd probably try and be a bit more aggressive with this second shot rather than just a six. But my mates just paid a visit to the water, so perhaps I'm correct. Eight iron in, flag is back right. I'm afraid I'd tug it, or I wasn't set up properly, one or the other. Either way, I'm an absolute mile from the flag. And no matter how good your caddy is, or how good you think you are, the three putt is always available to you. I think I'd given this hole far too much respect. I could have played it harder. But then I might have been dropping a ball like my mate was after he paid a visit to the water. Uh, well. Cheerio! Bogey.